So we have been quite surprised when pulling the scamp to not see a dramatic decrease in our gas mileage. So that's more anecdotal data. So today we're actually gonna show you real life what kind of gas mileage do we get. We'll do the math for you and we'll let you know. We love small camper trailers, we love getting outdoors, and we love the pursuit of simple living. If that sounds like you, you might wanna subscribe below. So in this episode, we are going to share with you our gas mileage in the Scamp. We've had a lot of you ask, what is our mileage when pulling the Scamp and pulling the teardrop? But we also know a lot of you aren't going to be going over Alaska mountain passes in your Scamp. But if you have a Scamp, you probably should come up here and try it. So this one, we're just gonna find a flat section of road and show you what we can do, show you how easy it is to pull with a four cylinder vehicle. Here we go. Okay, so we changed our mind after shooting that intro. This summer, we tracked all our gas mileage from flat to hills, even over Alaskan passes. We're gonna share all those miles with you. But first, let's just go into that flat like we were talking about. This would be anywhere in the world pulling a scamp trailer, a fiberglass trailer behind a four cylinder vehicle and what type of mileage you can expect. After that, we will go back to the hilly, the varied mileage, and you're gonna be really shocked on the difference. So let's get into this. Hey guys, I just wanna apologize for the raindrops on the lens. It's just how we're gonna to have to do this episode. So we gassed up about two communities back. We've tried to maintain a 55 mile per hour speed on these flat roads. This is Alaska, tourists are constantly pulling over. So it is gonna impact the gas mileage a little bit, but here we go, let's gas her up. The gas mileage we got while towing the scamp on a straight road is 28.1 miles per gallon. Guys, that is what we got towing our small camper with a four cylinder vehicle all summer on flat terrain. So it ranged anywhere from 28 miles per gallon to 28.46 miles per gallon out here in Alaska. Is that incredible? I don't know, are you guys excited? I can't tell, it's really hard to tell how excited you are. To me, that blows my mind that you can pull a camper that could have a toilet in it, a bed, could, could hold five people behind a four cylinder car and you can still get 28 miles per gallon. So let me give you an idea of what that means. Without our trailer, our matrix is getting about 27 miles per gallon on city and highway combined when it's flat. Typically on highway, if it's just a flat highway, we're getting anywhere between 29 and 31 based on number of passengers and, and wind drag. So with those numbers, we're talking a decrease of one to two miles per gallon when towing a trailer with a four cylinder vehicle versus not towing a trailer. Is that incredible? Does that, to me, that's just, you know, I've been sharing with you guys how little impact the mileage is when going down a flat road, but I didn't realize it was this good. Now I say all this and I get you excited, but the mileage we're just about to talk about is awful in comparison to flat. It really surprised me. So here it comes, we're gonna talk about that one next. At 55 miles per hour on a flat road here, you don't even notice the scamp behind you, just like we don't notice the teardrop behind us. The only difference is because the scamp is a little higher, you do feel a little sway. Uh, folks in the community in the comment section have said that we need to add sway bars. Other people have said sway bars aren't even needed for scamps. And the more we take it out, you get used to the sway, not much of a deal. And we're talking very minimal sway. You guys, this is a pretty cool campsite. There were more bald eagles inhabiting these camp spaces than there were humans. Sharp talons. He's a daddy one. He's a daddy one. Uh, before we go into the varied terrain, I want to know from all of you what type of gas mileage you're getting towing your small camper trailers. 
Put in the comments below what you're getting pulling your casitas, your scamps, your tabs, your tags, your teardrops, any sort of small trailer, even those of you with a large trailer, I would love to hear that. I think the community would love to know. Something we've always been interested in is having a larger vehicle, you would think it would decrease your gas mileage, but sometimes we wonder, does the power of the engine actually get you better gas mileage in comparison to like our four cylinder? So example, would a six cylinder or a straight six in a Jeep get better gas mileage than our Scamp maybe on varied terrain because it has the ability to pull it easier without even knowing anything's behind it? One of the things I'm hearing a lot right now about is that Ford Ranger, four cylinder vehicle with a turbo getting incredible towing capacity, incredible mileage. If anybody has one of those, please share in the comments below what you're getting. I would love to know and I know everybody else would too. Okay, let's tone down the lighting, tone down the mood. We're now gonna talk about that varied terrain and the major drop in gas mileage. This is basically an anti-drum roll. Whatever the opposite of a drum roll is, here it comes. So I've brought with me today the mileage from those varied trains. And like I said earlier, on flat, we were getting 28 miles per gallon. All summer long, we went up and down the Kenai. So we went from Anchorage all the way to the end of the Kenai Peninsula, which is Homer. In between that drive, you have one mountain pass, which really isn't that extreme of a grade, and then hills in between and just typical Alaskan scenery. And we went from 28 miles per gallon in the flats up near Wasilla, the valley up north, to between Girdwood and Soldatna, 17.72 miles per gallon. 28 to 17.72. Um, that did have one pass in it and then some varied terrain. The next section after the pass, we measured that many times. So we took the pass out of the equation and just did the hills. The hills alone came out to be down in that Girdwood, or sorry, not Girdwood, Deep Creek, Soldatna, Homer, came out to be 19.26 gallons, miles per gallon. So with the hills, we're between 19 and 20 miles per gallon. Throw in a pass, you're dropping down to 17 to 18 miles per gallon. And then like I said earlier, way down there by Homer on the flats, we are getting 28.46 miles per gallon. So I don't know on this one, I'm guessing this is, uh, you know, the four cylinder is beautiful for the flats. But I'm wondering if we had a six cylinder, a V8, a straight six, would we get better gas mileage in this varied terrain? When we were driving it, we were only at two and a half, three thousand 3000 RPMs. We were holding good speed, 55 miles per hour. It didn't feel like a lot of, um, it didn't feel like it was putting a lot of stress or anything on our vehicle, like at all. It actually hummed along really well, but it did impact the gas mileage, 17.72 gallons. I wish we could tell you something better, but uh, the math doesn't lie. So let us know again in the comment sections what you're all getting for gas mileage. Hopefully you're getting a little better than this. But then, I guess I shouldn't be so down on myself on this because you know most people out there towing a trailer are getting between 10 and 12 miles per gallon. So if we're getting up there between 17 and 19, it's still not like breaking the pocketbook. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is. And there's a move right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can't yeah. quite Look at all these books. East, you like books. Yeah. This is really one of those special campgrounds. Look at this place. Instant beach access, low key, great ocean fishing, great river fishing. Look at these guys driving their mini bikes on the ocean beach. I mean, it's just freedom up here, as you guys know. Heck, maybe in one of these future videos, you'll see us with a mini bike strapped to our trailer because this looks really fun. If you guys come to Alaska, there's a lot of freedom like this, but if you want the solitude and the quiet campgrounds, they have those as well. It's nice to be able to pick, do you want the loud ATVs and the fun, or do you want to go hang out in the woods next to a pristine lake? It's all up here, get up here. All right, thanks guys. As usual, leave in the comments below that'll help the community make decisions about what camper trailers to buy. Also share that gas mileage. It really is helpful for everyone. See you guys. <laughs>